Hi, this is Bob. This is the conclusion of the uh, project of restoring the SS-8000 to operational status. The SS-8000 was designed as a kit, not like the SS-9000, which was a, an assembled unit that came from the Heath Kit factory. The SS-8000 is now on the operating bench, and dozens of contacts have been made with it. Just turn the sound down there. I made dozens of contacts with it and I've got very good reports on CW and on phone. I spent 206 hours on the project recorded in the project journal. There were hours spent that were not recorded in the journal and a lot of time spent running around getting parts, going to ham fest, searching through junk boxes, contacting friends, and getting parts from them so it's been a long arduous project. There's 15 circuit boards in the 8000 and all of them required extensive rework. Two of the little ones were missing and new boards were made to replace them. The most difficult boards to repair were the RF power amplifier, the synthesizer and the main board called the TR board. There was a real headache I had with the RF preamplifier board. This little preamplifier board, the RF runs one direction on receive and on another direction on transmit. There were two RF preamplifier boards that came with this unit when I bought it. Both of them were in bad condition, but I started out with the one that looked the best. They had different circuits on them, so these are engineering test boards. Uh, the one that looked the best would not work. It would break into self-oscillation. It had a motorboating kind of a thing and just popped in and out at oscillation. I just could not get it to work. And I imagine Heathkit couldn't get it to work either or they wouldn't have started redesigning it. So I tried the other board, which appeared to be a newer uh, iteration of this preamp board. And uh, after spending many hours on that, I got it working. So uh, we're really happy about that. That was very difficult. That little preamp board was a real troublemaker. And so now, ho oh, oh, ho, I bumped the camera, excuse me. There we go, I bumped the camera. Uh, the, one of the toughest boards to work on was the synthesizer board. It has over 50 through-plated holes. It's a double-sided circuit board. And there were so many bad through-plated holes that I just went ahead and repaired them all with what they call Z-wires and soldered them in. Well, I thought I had them all done. When I finished, the synthesizer board worked, but it was off by 200 kilohertz at the output of the board where it went into the HF mixer. It took me several hours to find one more bad through-plated hole. It was under ICU-113 and was supposed to ground pin 3. That's a programming pin of a 74LS-161 programmable divider IC. Soldering a little jumper wire from pin 3 of this IC to ground got the synthesizer working properly on frequency. That pin was a programming pin. Overall, since finishing up, the SS-8000 is a fun rig to operate, much like its brother, the SS-9000, which has all the WARC bands in it. That's it. I feel really good about completing this long and complex project. I'll turn it on here. Well, it's on already, and I'll uh, tune in a station or two here.
there's Jake somebody on CW there. So that's it guys. This is the final final part of uh, of the SS8000 project. I'm really excited uh, that it does work. There were times during the restoration that I was certain it would not work. I was especially certain it would not work when I started working on the EEPROMs. And I do want to find uh, somebody who's got a, an older type EEPROM programmer uh, that lives nearby that I can take those EEPROMs over to and make a duplicate copy so that I have backups for those. So that's the whole deal there. And uh, I just am just tickled that, uh, that it is working and uh, really, really happy about it. So that's it, everybody. 73s and good DX.